Hello and welcome to UM News, I'm Andrea Dobbins. The Department of Education announced a hefty fine against the University of Montana after its failure to report accurate on-campus crime statistics. We now turn to reporter John Allen for more information. John, what can you tell us about this? Thanks, Andrea. The U.S. Department of Education fined UM nearly $1 million after university officials admitted to omitting crime statistics from 2012 to 2015. The omission violates the Cleary Act, which requires federally funded schools to submit accurate crime stats. UM admitted to the problem, and they've corrected the information. They say they will appeal the dollar amount of the fine. Andrea? Thanks, John. The Grizz basketball team began practicing this week in preparation for the new season. John takes a look at how one player, ineligible due to transferring into the university, is using his knowledge to help the team grow. Kendall Manuel, a transfer into the University of Montana in 2018, spent some of his summer playing for Mozambique in qualifiers for the Basketball World Cup. People over there that I was playing against were either in the NBA or they were playing in Europe or the G League. So. It was a great competition, there was great experience, and uh, I'm glad I got the opportunity to go over there. Manuel, who is eligible to play for Mozambique with his dual citizenship, says the team wanted him to play since he was in high school. UM basketball head coach Travis DeKeer says that Manuel can only help build the team. I think for him, he's, he's got a lot of stories to share with these young men, and being from Montana, I think he also can share what it means to be a Grizz. Manuel played in three games for Mozambique, averaging more than 21 points per game, leading the team in scoring. He hopes to mentor his new teammates with what he learned over the summer. I've definitely uh, gained a bunch of knowledge and uh, tried to share it with the freshmen and how to go about things at this level. Manuel hopes his experience as a player can help guide the Grizz to a second consecutive Big Sky Championship. For UM News, I'm John Allen. The University of Montana is an NCAA Division I college, but only 1% of high school volleyball players have a chance to make it to that level. There are nearly half a million high school volleyball players in the U.S. Missoula Sentinel High School student Sheridan Schwein looks to beat the odds. I want to stay close to home. I'd love to go here. That's an option. Yeah. Schwein plans to improve her skills in high school and become a part of the 1% of players who make it to the NCAA. UM's lacrosse team may be just a club sport, but more and more young people are picking up sticks and playing. The UM club team has been around for nearly two decades. Head coach Tucker Sargent says interest in lacrosse continues to grow in Montana. The numbers are going up every year in the state. Uh, Missoula has been stagnant the last couple of years. We're still one of the biggest youth programs, but I think there's a lot of room for growth there. Team members raise their own money every year for gear, uniforms, and travel. For more information on our stories, please check out umnews.jour.umt.edu and make sure to follow us on Instagram at UMJSchool. Thanks for watching and have a great day.